All right, people. Welcome back. More the Undo commentary. So we are joined by Omega. Hi, Omega Chaos here. And it looks like we're gonna be seeing some PK fire action. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I really hate how uh, Burning Abyss pretty much abuses the Phantom Knight engine. Yep, yep, they really do. It's like, hey, you know, we'd like to send a whole bunch of monsters to the grid. Let's throw in Phantom Knights for more rank three shenanigans. Phantom Knights are floaty. Yeah. Burning Abyss are floaty. Like, all right. So wait, so you don't want graph effect? <laughs> yeah, kind of unusual. Yeah, he's like, mill three, there's Grav, and then just silent boots. Like, okay, I guess he doesn't want Grav. <laughs> like, I guess. <laughs> anyway. Of course, playing for that Beatrice. Yep, powerful Beatrice. Mm -hmm. We have Psycho Blood Eyes at 11.14 and Nikki at 12.32. So uh, that, that Maxi wasn't terrible. He drew two cards. So I mean, it's pretty much a, a nice and powerful... Uh, Pot of greed right there. <laughs> and of course, Monarchs. Yep, looks like extra deck Monarchs. Hoban style. Uh, I'm already getting sick and tired of seeing these three decks. <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> I don't know. So I, I, I kind of think that PK Fire might drop off because of the other two decks gaining strength with that, uh, that Cherry Blossom. Like that, That's going to be some serious power. Extra deck monarchs and uh, cosmos. All they have to do is just throw in what, like a Dante or like a break sword, and hit you with that cherry, that winter blossom. When you yeah, but you have to throw it first, time pretty much. True. Otherwise, it's pretty much useless. <laughs> True, but you know you could just side three and then have the highest consistency of getting it first hand. Your opponent goes first. As soon as they summon a monster, just fuck them up with it. GG. <laughs> like good luck playing. But I think it's still going to be. A really powerful deck, either way. That one card doesn't change everything. Yeah, at least it's not an extra deck card that you always have access to. You still gotta draw it, but just the blatant just ac accessibility and the ability to just lock, crush your deck with the power of that card is ridiculous. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Yeah, that's because they are so reliant on Dante. Mm hmm. If they weren't there, it, was, it would be a different story. <laughs> Lol. Yeah. So all you need to do is just hit that Dante. I, I mean, I've seen this deck not pull, be able to pull off a Dante, and it just kind of sits there. <laughs> you need that Dante mill <laughs> to get yourself started. You need that floaty. Hmm, domain in Exodic Monarchs. I mean, it still lowers your uh, your level 8 to 6. Yeah, that's not too bad, I guess. Mm -hmm. well, special summon of the Super Quantum Red, and I guess Tribute Maw. Super Cotton Wed's still kind of pricey. <laughs> yeah, because it's pretty good in Monarchs. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and activate that return so he can't fuck you up with that Solemn Strike. And then go ahead and, I guess, play uh, that Monarch Stone Force. Tribute your shit and damn. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Maybe it's been nice if you. a very good counter against uh, uh, Beatrice. Yep, yep. So much. Uh, like. How how did you just like I guess I don't know maybe in the time frame that they made the ban list I I mean I, there's no way they couldn't have considered it I even think OCG has inputs on our list so there's no way I guess they were just like you know what we don't have a lot of money incoming as of late let's just go ahead and not hit monarchs and then get pr promote more picking up the structure because I'm assuming that around the time that the list was about to come out you know the people didn't buy the structure as much or they already had it because assuming that uh that the list was going to hit them, but then as soon as that Monarchs didn't get hit, you know, everybody and their mother who didn't already have the structure deck went ran out and bought three because they could have a 2-1 deck with ease. Which means that more orderings of the structure deck from, like, big companies like Walmart and shit, and then Konami makes that bank. Now, is it healthy for the game? Hell yep. no, but who cares? <laughs> Fucking Konami. All they care about is money. <laughs> so now we sit here and enjoy Monarchs for another three to six months. Yeah, unfortunately that's true, and same with uh, Burning Abyss and uh, Cosmo as well. I mean, I get where you're coming from with Cosmos. I mean, come on, you you keep on putting out new Cosmos every set. You just gave them some new shit. But fucking Burning Abyss, like, how the fuck does this deck, how is this deck still tier 0? Like, this is Duelist Alliance era, in the, I mean tier 0, tier 1. You're a Duelist Alliance deck, you should be dead like with Klees and Necros and shit, and Shadals. But no, you're still tier 1, it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> And then you go and touch them the next list too? 
Like, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, it is mostly because Beatrice came out. Mm -hmm. and... I wonder if they would have got hit if Beatrice never came out. I wonder if they probably not. They wouldn't have been so broken mm. in that case. So, do you, which do you think is better, pure burning the best, or do you think PK fire is better? It depends, but I think uh, pure burning abyss is more consistent. Mm -hmm. We actually could, they actually play the Fire Lake and stuff. And do they still play that trap card that revives everybody during the end phase? Yeah, I think Pure Pills do run it. Okay. I mean, they sure didn't run it back when uh, Surin Grafrath 3, all of a sudden they went down and he saw more of that, uh, was it like Traveler of the Burning Abyss, I think that's what the card's called? Is that what the card's called? Yep. Okay, I was like, I was like, wait, isn't that the name of the fusion? But that's just Dante Traveler of the Burning Abyss. Lots of traveling, where are you going, Dante? Hopefully you're going on that fucking list. <laughs> well, That's where you're traveling to at this rate. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright. Really? Like, wow. Like, Nikki, did you just open up the butts? <laughs> well, the monarchs do break quite often. Mm -hmm. Alright. Go ahead and turn that into a dank law. I still don't like dank law. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty annoying mm -hmm. at times. <laughs> I say, do we have to get OCG on your ass and hit mass change second down to one? I think they only put. How many do they play anyway? Around two, I guess. Damn. Some three as well, but yeah, well... most they only run like one dark law in the deck, in the deck stack anyway. Mm -hmm. A garbage hand facing down a dark law? Like, I don't think so, Monarchs. <laughs> You pretty much have to get that Monarch Storm fourth and should read it off. So, damn. These zills are going by so quick. We might have to, have to get another match in this video. Well, the game is very fast nowadays, so not too so surprising. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they hit Mass Train second down to one and uh, Shadow Miss. Uh, they're like, no, stop with the Dark Law. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I guess you, Nikki, is gonna allow uh, his opponent to go first, just because he's playing extra deck marks. I'm assuming if he wasn't playing extra deck marks, he probably would have went first and tried to lock him down with the uh, domain. But yep. And a nice Majesty Fiend might do some work. All right. Go ahead and grab that Prime. Play that Pantheism. Ah. <laughs> Yep. Yep. So plus. So plus. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much uh, a plus one Im immediately. Mm -hmm. It's like, what? Why? Why? And you don't hit that shit. <laughs> you gonna give him the pantheism again? Or... See, that's like a, that's like a trap. You you want to give him the pantheism because you know you can't. He can't banish and search. Damn! Wow. Damn. <laughs> Here, have this fancy and I quit. Oh, wow. That's a trap, because they're going to just play it again, and then just get the search next turn. And then get deeper into their deck. It's kind of like a trap, but still. Yep. Another one, too. Because, of course, Pantheism is still at three. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. Yep. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and get another duel in. We're right back. Alright, we are back, so... It looks like more, maybe Pure Burning Abyss or PK Fire. <laughs> uh, and then we... Yeah, it's pretty much the mirror match. Yeah. Wasn't, wait, Nikki was the one playing Monarch, right? Mm, I, yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, 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 I think yeah, so. Yeah. So, more just... Yeah, not Burning Abyss. More Monarchs versus uh, Burning Abyss. I'm not sure if it's Pure or PK Fire yet. So, do they... Do they play Libic in... Oh, no, that still doesn't give it away. No, that doesn't give it away. Mm. It's probably yeah, it's pure, pure because the big fire doesn't really play that right now. Mm -hmm. So, once again, Nikki at 12.52. And Jerry90 can't be free. I don't know who that is, Jerry90, but uh, apparently that person cannot be free at uh, 15.09. Uh, plugging in that uh that proplaygames.com so i guess go check out their website <laughs> i 
I guess. Yeah, that team is getting very popular, I guess. They are recruiting a lot of pro players. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. that's how it works. You gonna get Patrick Hoban to make you something new? <laughs> <laughs> Damn! What? What? Really? Like, nothing even happened. Because <laughs> I guess Nikki opened up like crap. I mean, it still works. <laughs> Kind of wondering uh, yeah. if we're going to do OCG when it comes out here. Dark Illusions comes out in, like, August, right? Mm, yeah. I wonder if they're going to fucking do the triple uh, pot of stupidity like OCG does <laughs> in every deck. Yeah, maybe. I mean, like I said, I get where they're coming from. They think, they're not thinking about it. From, for the later, you know, we're we're, too, we're thinking too much of the later. Like, what? Ten cards off my deck? What if I what if I banish it to the top? What if I banish the cards that I want to get? No, 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 no. It's pot of greed. You get a plus one. You win now. You get card now. Don't worry about later. <laughs> yeah, because you're mostly going to activate one in a dual anyway. You're, you're probably never going to get uh, free. Mm -hmm. So it's pot of greed in that sense, you know. It's kind of it's like Konami thought they created like a really good risk of reward and players still don't give a shit because it's still just two plus. Like, it's like, is that card going to be hit too? Well, we'll see how it impacts that decision matter. Like at first, everyone thought that it was shitty card, but I think we were all wrong pretty much. I just think that we were just being too cautious mm -hmm. with it. They're going to drop the max C on them. All right, Nikki, I see you. The deck is garbage. What, Monarchs? I mean, they're a little bit inconsistent. Damn. Gary's like, no, you can just go ahead and take the neg. I don't even want to go into Dante. It's not even that important. <laughs> so search them in the terror top and get the search and then just set a monster. Like, no, I'm not going to go into Dante. <laughs> terror top. The terror top to the Takatan board is pretty good play. Rank 3 Dante play without even a... Normal summoning. Yeah, another engine that is so abused in many decks. Mm -hmm. I, already like it's I already see a couple and of people. pure speedways are not even played. No, nope, not even played at <laughs> all. I like it would be so sad if uh, either Terror Top or the Phantom Knights got hit because of Burning Abyss. Mm -hmm. That would be so bad. Yeah, it's just, like, I'd be fine with Dante's. And if you want to hit some other Burning Abyss shit too, I would be fine with that. All right. Okay. Wow, wow. Yeah, Northern Northern Fusion. Northern. I mean, yeah. But I believe they, they they actually play some uh, extra deck based cards, so why not? I mean, if Northern can summon you back something from their graveyard for your double tribute, then go to town, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, wow, Northern even, even, even Monarchs. That's how you know. Look at Northern. <laughs> even in Monarchs? Yep. <laughs> Yeah. So go ahead and send two. What you gonna summon? You gonna summon like Kraws, Pop itself, Pop a. Uh... Roll what? What? Giving up. Is so it because you misplayed and you forgot to activate your uh, return? Like wow, that was kind of lame, Nikki. I guess. Real lame. We get another duel. Wow. Be right back. <laughs> We're back. We got Nikki. <laughs> Same shit. <laughs> Oh my god, like, I am so sick of uh, those Yeah, it's just those three. Iryuk at uh, 1245, this is once again Nikki at 1243, so. <laughs> you gonna scoop it up, Nikki? Nikki! Nikki! Oh, Nikki! <laughs> like, it's freaking so bad, like. <laughs> Nikki, what the hell? What the fuck are you playing? Like, your monarchs are like the worst, most inconsistent shit I've ever seen, Nikki. <laughs> wow, just draw one card and scoop. You don't even want to reveal your deck. You're just like, nope, nope. Alright. Well, exotic monarchs are actually even more freaky than normal monarchs. Mm. Because they play so many extra cards that. Too cute. That, yeah. That are more combo that are inconsistent. Like that overdrive teleporter thing that beat Patrick Coban played. Mm -hmm. like that, that's cute, I guess. My phone's going off. <laughs> 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 I 
So, ir- Iryuk, like, what are you gonna do? Are you just looking at your hand? You're like, this hand's not that great. Go ahead, special summon that Terra Top. Let's go. Make that Dante, then Nikki will scoop, and then I guess I won't. Yeah, if Nikki quits, this I'm done. <laughs> like, Nikki, duel. Yep. You wanna drop that Maxi? Ah, there it is. Yep. What's up with Nikki and Maxi? Always at the Maxis. Yeah, Nikki, back at it again with the Maxis. And the quitting. <laughs> <laughs> Laws. So, here you, you gonna do anything else? Alright. Going to Dante, allows him to, allow Nikki to get a pot of greed, I guess. Uh, you probably could've took it slow. Maybe just set that scarm. But if that's what you wanna do, if you wanna go to Dante, go to Beatrice too, just let, just let Nikki draw a butt ton of cards. Yep. Guess you really wanna detach that scarm and get a search. Yeah, it's probably better to go into Dante than you know, leave it like that. I mean, the way that Nikki's been opening. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Kaiju as well. What the fuck was that? Kaiju. Oh. Kaiju Asian has been, yeah, has become pretty popular in Burning Abyss. That's crazy. In the mirror match, could get rid of Beatrice and against Cosmo as well. Like main deck? Like, and I, I more, give the uh, side deck a main deck? That's crazy. All right. And because they have pretty much a dark hole card as well that summons monsters mm. on the deck. Mm-hmm. I'm getting kind of sick of kaijus. It really doesn't seem like they're coming into their own deck. Like, <laughs> can I just keep on giving them support and they're just pretty much just a side engine of nothingness? Like, alright. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they're a stupid retarded deck and I hate them, but uh... It's like, yes, a deck full of lava golems. Yay, thank you. Yeah, and, and because of Kaiser's being so popular, I don't think uh, Raid Atlas will do anything in the foreseeable future. Like, they're not even doing anything in the OCG, and they don't even have Kaijus. Yep. Like, we don't even have to, like, there isn't a... Ultimate, Ultimate Falcon's unaffected by card effects, so not even Monarch Stormforce, yep. but just Kaiju, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you actually wanted to be a Triss. And allowed him to draw three off of one maxi. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. So when he uh, so ear ear you when he hits you with that uh, monarch stone force and gets rid of that Beatrice. What's up, <laughs> Nikki over here just going hella fucking plus and then quits. <laughs> <laughs> you better fucking not, Nikki. I at least want to see this go to game three. Yep. Yep. So what cards do you think it marks should be hit? Mm, Ponte is Enforcer. Mm-hmm. But I'm not sure, not sure about anything else. I think Domain is, is also a huge problem, but... Did Nikki shuffle? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> I said Domain. Especially now since they're playing these extra deck marks, it's not as bad as of late. Okay. I guess to pan- banish the own Beatrice? Yes, is so, it, is... so they can't storm fort. Oh, it's just targeting a monster on the field. I thought it was pulling control. Nope, just targeting a monster on the field. So you can just banish your own uh, Beatrice, so you don't have to worry about that. Dante guard back that Farfa and banish your own Beatrice. And, uh, Libic is the one that. It's like a breakthrough skill. Okay. Alright, so there's Prime. So that was kind of a waste of a Monarch Storm Forth. Ye- oh, well, that helps. Oh. But Beatrice can just run. We have to spend two there. I don't know what it's like. Okay. <laughs> Is it dirty as fuck? <laughs> You're the other one that got all jumpy and wanted to get your freaking uh fuck me. <laughs> Nikki, you better not quit. <laughs> 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 Nikki's gonna quit isn't he she. <laughs> hey, it's Nikki, you better not. <laughs> like you knew that Beatrice is gonna come back. Like what'd you expect? I mean, you can't activate any monster effects, so 
But all it needs to do is just turn that bitch just to attack mode and get you, so. I know you don't run any back row or anything along those lines. Yep. Bring that ass here, boy. Yep. Rip. That you mean rip? <laughs> rib. <laughs> oh. mm, ribs. <laughs> Like six cards in hand and still can't do anything. I guess they really, that was the only plan. I hit you with another maxi. Like Nikki is drawing. Like you don't understand. <laughs> yep. You gonna do anything with that or are you just gonna leave him alone? Please stop it. What? Dropping maxi on you? I can't. <laughs> I need to hit you with that maxi. Your plays, they're just too. <laughs> it's, it's just too easy. Even when it keeps on doing these special summons. <laughs> yep. So kind of got an upstart goblin off of that maxi, which isn't terrible. Like I said, as long as you play the the maxi in the right way. No, I think three stars for only the one. The fuck card. did I just see pitched? That looked like a gym knight. I think it was a gym knight. Yeah, it, I think it was because the extra like, monarchs play a pretty brilliant fusion as mm. well. Patrick Hoban, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you know, twin Twister? Naked? Don't you want to hit that one card with your, uh... With your, uh... Lake? I guess that's what you want to do. Chain. Twin Twister on you! Aha! Good twin twister, oh my god. Yeah, too much of a staple mm -hmm. nowadays. Why'd you set this diffusion? Do you have too many cards in here? Okay. So, uh, Nikki, do something. And I swear to Christ, if you quit. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, phone, shut up! <laughs> Back on the other side of the room, there's people probably commenting on YouTube. Okay. Ah, that I that uh, idea. That idea plays too strong. Yeah, that combo is mm -hmm. pretty good. That's why they play yeah. it, probably. What's negated? I'm confused. Yeah, like, yeah. What, what's negated? Idea? I don't know. <laughs> are you just one of the, Are you just one of them douchebags who just fucking talk shit for no reason? I hate players like that. I'm seriously trying to take this duel seriously and you're just fucking talking shit just to talk shit. I had a person at my locals who did that shit. It just be like negate, and it's like with what? And it's like oh, this or because I say so, like nigga. <laughs> ah, yeah. shut up and play the game properly. <laughs> you got me sitting here confused. Like what the fuck are you playing? Like you hitting me with that fucking uh, that orange herald? <laughs> Nikki, you got the resources. Like you can easily come back into this duel. Why did you put Domain in the graveyard? Was that like a misclick or...? <laughs> I guess just wanted to re reveal it for that Pantheism. <laughs> okay. Your turn, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Gonna go ahead and grab that, uh, that Domain anyway, so... I guess it really didn't matter. <laughs> okay. Sit 
pantheism and tenacity and, and this deck. It's just a little bit too ridiculous. Yet it still can open up like crap. Typical monarch BS, yep. Yeah, yeah obviously. Well, it's not typical monarch, it's just... It's pretty, pretty different from the regular monarch deck. It's still just a fucking structure deck. <laughs> I don't care what you do to it, it's still just a fucking structure deck. Well, that doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. At least for me. I'm tired of this shit, man. I hate getting my ass beat by a fucking structure deck, man. It took all this time and effort to make this deck. Even Burning Abyss. Well, the thing is, you only play online anyway, so... Mostly, <laughs> at least. <laughs> play one white. One structure deck? No, no. Nonix, Konami wants them to be good. Nick, Nikki, you have not been getting shit on. You beat a Burning Abyss. Now you quit against the other one. We've been watching you, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki, do something. At least it's not the mirror match. Yeah, more like mirror match is really annoying. Like... Like it takes ages to to do to, to anything, mm -hmm. pretty much. Fucking Prime is so fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's basically three bomb frog on yep. steroids. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, I'd say you're just gonna scoop it up. Ah, <sighs> these games. <laughs> you never get to see the outcome in the door. <laughs> not today, son. Hello? What do you mean, not today? Chain scoop, alright. <laughs> uh, just pause until they're back. Alright, this is it. This is the finale. So let's see who will take it. Will Nikki just go ahead and scoop it up again? Or, <laughs> or actually pull off another victory? Best of three. Well, first turn, Majestic Fiend won't be too bad. Yeah. Uh -huh. Definitely not too bad. No monster effects can be activated, so it's going to be pretty difficult for Iryu to bust out like a Dante to run it over or something. Yep. Return, return, and I don't know. What else? Maybe like another Pantheism? Wow, you actually played three. I guess. Oh, what a <laughs> It's been a cool minute since I've seen someone play three prime. Mm. Well, to get those rank five plays yeah. going, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I've got that Pleiades because you can. This deck is so lit. Like, you're just riding on Patrick Hoban's jock. <laughs> like, we should just ban Patrick Hoban. Whenever, some, whenever Patrick Hoban touches something or does something, it gets stupid. <laughs> yeah, then everyone will play it pretty much. It's, it's like Jeff Jones. I think those two are the main ones that once they play something, then everyone copies mm -hmm. them pretty much. Oh, you want to play Omega like Omega? Like, I thought he was talking to you. <laughs> you want to play Omega? Oh, like, what the fuck? Yeah, I guess they think in the car. <laughs> it's like, wait, like, you didn't even know you're here. Like, you want some of that Omega? You want to get, you can go on the radio and get your ass beat, Omega? <laughs> Bring that ass here. <laughs> yeah, we'll beat them in Marine right after us, or what's the mission? I mean, if you bust out that sure, thing, uh, Ultimate Falcon, there's not anything that Burning Abyss can really do. Yeah, yeah I guess that's true. That. Like, they struggle against fucking uh, Dank Destroyer, but you're not even affected by uh, Hope, so... 
Like Burning Abyss was an easy win when I played Tower Turbo. So if it's even easier. <laughs> but then they'll just go ahead and side in them kaijus and then you'll just get wrecked. Yeah. But it's, once again it's still well you still have to draw into it, but they still have to draw into the kaiju. Depending on how fast you bust it out your uh, ultimate falcon and uh, whether they have their kaiju or not. And then you can always revive it with your skip force, so. So you have to have two kaijus. And you're not even a machine, so. They can't even contact with you like they can, like the Megazord or like towers. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well. Uh, the extra summons always first, right? Okay. You can choose, I think. Does uh, Seth have to be on the field to resolve its extra summon? Mm. Damn. Damn, get rid of that tour guy. Rib. <laughs> yep. Damn. And if they don't have yeah. Regeki, I think Burning Wish twice can mm -hmm. be one scoop it. You get that Regeki? <laughs> Show it to me. Regeki, please. <laughs> please. I know. Okay. So. Like I said, I, like, you can't afford a Regeki. Like, you're playing BA, you at least got Beatrices. And online, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like... <laughs> it's like one that implements anything you want. Okay. I know. Now what? You're gonna, like... Summon the kaiju over the majesty screen or something? Does that even activate? I don't think though. Kaijus don't activate, do they? Oh, so you just triple. No, they though. don't. So, uh, Brino. Now what? You want to just go ahead and hit that emit, emit defeat button? Well, some back row could help, I guess. <laughs> But I haven't seen like many burning versus twice even running like that much back row. They just rely on like spamming the field mostly nowadays. Need to think for epic plays. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't believe uh Does uh Taka Tornborg activate in hand? Or is that just an here? So if no. If he had like terror, no, like, if he had terror and Taka Tornberg, he could have done something. Like... Wow. All right. Disgusting. <laughs> Always trust Hoban, and Hoban we trust. <laughs> Hoban's like the Donald Trump of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> yeah, in some ways, yeah. He even wrote that that Yu-Gi-Oh book, like pretty crazy. Yeah, someone praises that book. It's, it's like their holy bible. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have anything? Enemy motherfucking control. Well, actually, okay. that's not bad. Okay. But I don't think it changes Still much can't because... Activate. Uh, you should... Should have taken the other yeah, monster, yeah, like, seriously, what they're yeah. doing. Well, does the fill spell work for both players? If a tribute summon monster you control attacks an opponent's monster, gains 800 attack. Oh, well, that helps as well. Oh, okay, just gonna turn to defense. Okay. Just turn into defense mode and attack over him. Yeah, that works. You still get to keep your Rhino. I mean, it's not like Nikki doesn't have plays. 
Do you have a response to that? Okay, at the end of main phase one. Okay. Main phase one. What? Enter battle. Yeah. At this point, that Nick is just trolling. I think, I think Nick is just trolling. Oh, Hurry this shit up, bitch. Damn. Holy shit. Just <laughs> stop trolling. Set some back row, I guess. This is so stupid. <laughs> Shut up and play. Okay. All this time spent typing. Yeah, that's why I don't <laughs> like the end. I hate <laughs> typing. At least one of the reasons. Yeah, you're a little bit less fucked, but you're still... Like, you need some back or anything to make sure that he doesn't just rip the shit on you. Like, he still got two cards in hand, drawing into three. Who's to say that there won't be more Monarch shenanigans? Will someone just quit already? <laughs> Here, hurry up. Okay. So special summon sir that won't be destroyed because of Rhino. Okay. Yep. Wait, you're gonna go like I have no idea. <laughs> Alright. Summon Prime back. Hit you with that monarch storm forth and trip it off for Ether, and then that'll be pretty much it. Yep. Yeah, you yep. predicted it right. Yep. I hate that play. I hate that play so much. So fucking annoying. It's like, why do you get to summon during my turn? Like, who the fuck thought that was a good idea? <laughs> and Monarch Storm Force, a quick flex spell card? Like, alright, alright, Konami, I see you. I see you. I guess that's why it's more of a quick play. <laughs> So, do you got another BA you can special summon, or are you just going to go ahead and take that? And scoop. Yep, that's it. <laughs> so, we're just going to wrap that up. So, thank you, Omega, for joining me. No problem. Thanks for watching. Thanks for always. Support. Just Monarch versus BAs. <laughs> And without and, and without even locking out the extra deck either, the, the players were still there. Mm. <laughs> so uh, yeah, see you guys on Thursday with some more uh, Dando commentary. Thanks for watching.